Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today let's talk about Lutris. Okay, so go if you don't know what Lutris is, go here to the Discover Software Center. And then type Lutris and download this. I already have mine downloaded, so I can just launch it. For you, you probably have to click install if you don't have it installed. Alright, so what Lutris is, it's basically similar to when you go to Steam and you click add a game add a non-Steam game, and normally you can add a non-Steam game here, and it installs um, Windows programs. Well, it's kind of like that. It's an installer that can install Windows programs. That's what I use it for anyway. So let's try to add a game. So add a game here. Press the plus button on the top, uh, top left. Yeah, left, right, left, yes. Okay, and then I'm going to add a locally installed game. Okay, and then I'm going to call it Vortex because that's the name of my program, Vortex Mod Manager. Or I can actually call it Vortex Mod Manager. All right, just to be specific. And then I'm going to select Run Out Wine. So it runs Windows games, okay? Then Game Options, I'm going to select the executable. Um, I haven't installed it yet, so I'm going to select the installer. So this is a Vortex installer. Uh, if I can get it, here it is. Okay, this is an installer. And what's good about Lutrix um, is that you can cr you can define its Wine prefix folder. As for Steam, when you press Add a non-Steam game here, and you select it, it actually automatically assigns a, a prefix folder. It assigns a number to it. So let's take a look. Okay, see here, see all these non-Steam games that I've added? See these numbers? These are randomly assigned. And I can't assign the, another game to the same number. You can't do it on Steam. But the good thing about Lutris is that you can. And why would I want to do that? You're probably asking. Because I want to install Vortex, the mod manager, on the same prefix as Wiimod. Because Wiimod is a cheats and trainer, and it... You need to put, sometimes you need to put the game inside the same directory as Wiimod in order for it to manage it. And it's the same with Vortex. If I want to manage that game, sometimes I need to put the game in the same directory. And if these two, well, Wiimod and Vortex, they're in two separate prefix folders, I need to move my game manually every single time I want to do something with it. And that's very annoying. So I want to put them in the same. So I want to put... Vortex in this prefix, 2920. So let's let's go find this. So I've got Steam apps here. Normally you would go to home um, dot steam. This is a hidden folder. So you need to go here to the top right and show hidden files needs to be checked. So dot steam, steam, steam apps. I just moved it over here. I just uh you can do this. You can uh how do you do it? I'm going to go back. Yeah, you can just drag it over here to places. So next time you can just shortcut it. So I can like see like this. I can shortcut it. Okay, so compact data. And then it's, what is it? 29207. Yeah, this one. Okay. So I want to put my prefix here. All right. So I'm just going to copy this location this prefix location, and I'm going to, I'm going to put it here, wine prefix, I'm going to paste it here. So this game is going to use this prefix folder. So that's the good thing about Lutris. You can assign a prefix folder to it. That's very good. Okay, runner options, I'm going to leave it. No, I'm going to use Proton Experimental. Okay. Okay, then it's done. Save. Okay, let's go back to our Lutris and let's run the game. Play. Just wait for it. It's running. Okay. So here, I'm going to install it into C drive program files, Black Tree Gaming, the Vortex, so install.
Just let it install. It's taking a while. Slowly but surely, hopefully. Yep, done. Okay, I don't need to run it. Okay. Now, now I need to configure it because the game options, I don't want to run the install anymore. So I need to install this. I'm not install, I need to run this. So drive C, now I'll go to drive C and then program files, black tree gaming, vortex. See, I installed it already here. All right, so I need to copy this location, copy, and I'm going to paste it. Okay, here, I'm going to find the executable, paste it here. Find the vortex.exe. Okay, done. And then, yeah, Photon Experimental is fine. Okay, save. All right, let's run the game. The Vortex Mod Manager. See if it runs. You can see in my prefix folder, see this prefix folder now has a uh, Wii Mod. So Wii Mod's also installed here. Uh, Steam user, app data, Look, okay, that's the mod manager running. Okay, that's the mod manager running. I've already done it before. That's why, that's why I'm probably logged in. Because all my settings are here. Yeah, all my settings are here. I've, I've already like done it before. I uninstalled it and then reinstalled it. So for you, you probably have to log in and all that. But yeah, I've, you can see why it's so good for me. Because see here, this prefix folder now has um update uh roaming see it has vmod it has vmod installed and it also has um program files yeah black tree gaming it has vortex installed and also on my c drive i've created a games directory i put all my games here so my game folders are here and so they can both manage it so let's say I go to Vortex. Let's say I, I change the game location. I can just go to my computer, C drive. Because you have to put the games in your C drive in the same directory most of the time to, to manage it. And I can just, yeah, install. I can like access my games here. So I don't have to like move my game directory around. So that's very good. All right. Good job. Now let's close it. There's one hiccup. Um, how do I open this in game mode, right? Normally you just right click and you click um, here, you, you click create a Steam shortcut, right? But it doesn't work now. There's a bug, I think. So let's say here, normally what you'd need to do, you need to close. See, I don't have anything here. I don't have Vortex. Okay, you need, normally what you do, you close your Steam. Okay, you make sure it's totally closed. Because if it's open, it can't create the shortcut. So make sure it's totally closed. Make sure, see here, see that, that icon that disappeared? That means it's totally closed. If it still have a Steam icon here, it means it's not closed. You probably just minimized it. All right, so now create a Steam shortcut, okay? Delete the Steam shortcut. Okay, let, let's create it. Okay, make sure it's create, okay. And then we open Steam again. And the shortcut should not be created. I don't know, there's a bug. It, it worked before, but I'm not sure why, like they probably updated the Steam OS or something and it doesn't work now. So let's go to the library and we don't have the Vortex mod manager in here. Okay, so that's an issue. When you go into game mode, you can't launch uh, Vortex, All right? So there's workaround. So what I do is you go into your Lutrix again here, okay, I'm just gonna delete the Steam shortcut. It doesn't work anyway. So create a desktop shortcut, okay? See here, now I've created a desktop shortcut. All right, and then here, add to Steam. Right click it, add to Steam. And then go to the library. And you can see here, here's a Vortex Mod Manager. Go into its properties, and it says Target ENV. That doesn't work. Browse, go back to the desktop, select all files, and then select the shortcut. 
So mod manager to shortcut, this, this shortcut. Okay. And then compatibility, you don't have to do anything. Just leave it. All right, let's run it. Okay, it looks like it's nothing's happening. It stopped, but it actually works. Let's see that the mod manager is booting up. Yeah, I think it works. So that's how you do it. That's how you add the Steam shortcut with Lutris now, but because the traditional way doesn't work. So that's how you do it. So this was a bit of a Lutris tutorial. Hope this helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.